before we get into this video, I wanted to thank Solitaire Cash for sponsoring it and also let you know that we have two giveaways going on right now. First one is happening on my Instagram and you guys have the chance to win a Kindle and a Brad Winning Housewife Trucker. So go over there and you can see the rules there. The second one is just for this vlog. I will be sending a breadwinning housewife trucker to one of you who comments your high and your low of 2021. So again, thank you to Solitaire Cash for sponsoring today's video. And during the holidays, we just sit around and play games nonstop. My mom loves Solitaire. This is just so like nostalgic for me. But we need to talk about their Christmas super prize. They're having the biggest raffle ever right now. It is happening between December 17th to December 27th. You can win a football experience, a top artist experience, a Vegas experience, and more. So this is available to all players in the US, and the more you play, the more tickets you get, and the more chance you have of winning one of the raffle prizes. It is their biggest raffle ever, and everyone has the same chance to win. So get on the game, download the app, have some fun. So you guys can download it now. I will have Solitaire Cash linked below. Thank you so much to Solitaire Cash for sponsoring this video. Honestly, it is a win-win situation. You play a fun game, and the more you play that game, the more chances you have of winning these insane prizes. Happy holidays, everyone. I hope you guys go download the game. I will have it linked below. Insane. Also, Solitaire Cash is just such a fun thing to play. This is, like, what we play at my house on the holidays. So, love that we're talking about this today. Anyways, with that being said, let's get into this video. We are prepping for the new year this year. This week? Get excited. Okay. <laughs> I cannot see. We're about to set up our bank account for the Okine, the brand that we're starting, which is very exciting. I was gonna, I almost texted you to remind you to bring that, but I was like, show it Honestly, I don't think if, if we, I, I would have blanked on it, how do we not talk about it? Just me. Okay. Or my dad brought it up to me. Dads are always right. Dads are always right. Okay, well, subscribe if you're new here. Welcome to a week in my life vlog. Honestly, this is gonna be a lot of New Year prep this week. I've decided that's my vibe for the week. What's your prep? New Year prep because I'm oh. going to New York for New Year's Eve. I come back for four days and then I go to LA for a week. Yeah. And I know I'm gonna to wanna to organize and declutter and all that. So this week, that's what I'm doing. I'm prepping for the New Year. That's exciting. I'm getting ahead of it. You know? Actually really it is so bright. I actually yeah. can't see anything. If you guys want, Brevity Housewife is 10% off until the 20th. If not, go buy it. Link below. Have a good day. All right guys, happy Monday. We just set up the Okines bank account. We have money in there, our money. We didn't made money, but very exciting. So we've been working all morning. I get coffee with my dad every Monday at like seven, like really early. I'm about to go to Pilates. I'm meeting Michelle, she's coming with me. If you guys want to go to Pilates in Dallas, so you go to Shine Up Pilates. You can use code Join Kinsey for a free first class, which is like crazy. It's the most similar to Hot Pilates that I found in LA that I loved. I really like it. I got a smoothie. We've got a lot happening today. It's a very productive week. Feeling good. I have my workout stuff on out underneath. All right, I'm home and apparently the shelf, oh my God, I got another shelf because we're gonna use my garage to hold inventory for the Okine, so I just wanna get everything organized. I mean, it's taller than the other one, but I don't care. Oh wait, it's, no. I mean, it's pretty much the same. How did he do that that fast? Anyways, tomorrow, Dana and I are gonna go through, well, that is gonna drive me absolutely insane. The insulation has just like really fallen off. I needed that to be taller because that'll be good for when I have like the Christmas trees and stuff, having everything here and then just getting, like we're doing a garage makeover tomorrow. Everything is going to be perfect. It's gonna be so organized. Also, this is gonna be difficult. I want these mats under the treadmill. That's gonna be hard tomorrow, but like I believe in us, so it's gonna be good. This is all gonna be organized again. I mean, I'm gonna feel so good about it. Just absolutely incredible. We can put on podcasts on the TV. We'll need another extension cord for that. I'm home from Pilates. I met up with Michelle there. It was such a good class. My favorite teacher so far is Adam. I love them all, but Adam like plays the music that I love, and it's just such a good workout. Okay, so like I said, this week is all about New Year prep. I am traveling so much, traveling for New Year's Eve and like in the new year. I know I'm gonna be really antsy to come back and get everything organized. I'm going to declutter my kitchen today. Tomorrow is the garage, which is the bigger project. I need to do the kitchen. I just have so much PR that I'm so grateful for, but like one person can never use all this stuff. So I need to figure out like what I'm using, what I'm not using, and then I can probably donate, I'm thinking. 
or give away to friends and i don't have enough room for like to go cups right now or even like a place for like dog stuff so i need to go through that cabinet because i know i can get rid of some stuff and then just we'll be able to put it in the garage tomorrow and go through the pantry honestly my bathroom really needs to the closet in my closet room the shelves all fell down so not only do i need to go through that but i also need to get that all fixed and redone i don't want to wait until the new year to like start all my new goals and stuff we have a goal setting meeting this week for the okine and for myself we're already working on bread housewife stuff so that's why i've just already been getting into a workout routine i already scheduled all five of my workouts question for you guys I'm thinking about YouTube next year, um, and obviously I'm just like, adding other things, so it's going to be busy. Should I just stick to doing one week in my life vlog a week, making that vlog really good? And then if I do that, do you want another video? And what would it be? I could post twice a week, one week in my life vlog, and then one could be another video, whatever you guys think it should be. But let me know. I know week in my life vlogs are the favorite, and honestly, people say they like daily and stuff, but like the week in my life vlogs always get a lot more views, meaning that you guys like care to watch it. So let me know what you guys want to see on my channel next year. I'm just trying to like get ahead of it and just you know get some things going but anyways i made some salmon and carrots for lunch i'm gonna eat that i'm gonna watch something and then we're gonna get to organizing and cooking today and reading that's what i'm doing i had a wild weekend and i need just to be home you know also i showered and i have so much oil on my skin and a lip mask because my skin has just been so dry i'm getting a hydrafacial this week what else am i doing i think i'm getting laser i think i'm starting laser i mean so much is happening so i'm gonna go through this cabinet a little bit of that cabinet and this cabinet it is awful like look at this guys it should never ever 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 look like that ever this one is just so crammed honestly like that is pretty much all pr i have so much stuff and like so much collagen i love collagen but i'll just never be able to as like a single girl be able to consume that much collagen this is actually i haven't tried all of them that i have but vital proteins collagen is an OD favorite of mine. I have so many supplements, all of which I really love this stuff. Like I love Helma. I love everything. I love me like all of it, but it's just too much stuff. I have too much stuff. So I'm going to go through. I put on an episode of the toast and my goal is to be done with the kitchen by the end of it. So I have about 45 minutes. Nothing crazy, but this definitely feels a lot better and I have room for my mugs again. You know, the important ones. I have a lot of Dolly Parton mugs, Don't Mess With Texas mugs. You know, the important ones. That is done. Now we're gonna move on to this one, which is going to really be the big kicker. literally took me five minutes and I feel like a new person I mean look at the difference I also have this one under here this first off is Tupperware and like it's just not good here here's a little mini ironing board I have a bunch of dog stuff so I'm gonna also go through this because this is like a mess it needs to be fixed I have a lot of stuff to just kind of like go through and throw away but I'm feeling so good about this oh you know what well I did move this stuff because I do need stuff for like room for to-go mugs. I think I can put them back there. The shot glasses also go in here, but I'm thinking I can put like to-go. This isn't merch, guys. This is old that I made myself. Little arts and crafts. We are working on some more merch though, don't worry. Um, this is for the green thing. This right here like has to go all the way up there because like, I don't even know when I would use that next. Alright, this was stuffed all the way to the back. I didn't even know. So I have a few things that I put back in there to keep. I'm gonna get little organizers. And then I also moved this little basket up with the dog stuff. So I have treats, pet corrector, spray for the Kong, all of that. This is bone broth that's like 
a powder bone broth, so I just need to stay there. Granola, because that's just stuff I grab for a lot. Um, but this feels like so much better. Oh my god. I somehow just basically did the kitchen in 25 minutes. So I'm feeling really good about myself. Currently boiling the chicken and then I have onions, carrots, celery. I'm about to add some garlic, just kind of saute these before I add in the rest of the stuff for soup. I just added the chicken stock and then also garlic right before that. All right, so I added some broth, brought that to a boil and then I added egg noodles and chicken. Let that boil a bit and now it is good to go. It seriously is like the easiest thing to make and it is so much better homemade. Obviously, like pretty much everything is butter homemade, but especially chicken noodle soup. I just love making soups. They're so easy. They're so good. I just, it's my favorite thing to make, honestly. It's like what I'm con like constantly making. The reel will be on my Instagram if you guys are interested. I'm now in bed shopping on the real reel. I used to hate Balenciaga city bags, and now I, I love them. I don't know what happened. I used to hate these bags, and now I'm like, ooh, love. Guys, I have a guest for you. Vlog! What do you have to say, Dom? Vlog. Vlog, what is up? I miss y'all. I miss y'all. Y'all been being on your best behavior. I've been watching Kenzie's videos along with you. See that she's getting healthy. <laughs> but she's, she's having a little wholesome girl winter. I see Kenzie. I saw you little grocery haul. You cooking now, girl. You doing your thing. Vlog. I ain't been doing that. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you, I have not been on my wholesome girl winter, but I'm happy that one of us is. Yeah. That's Kenzie. That's fair. I, oh, what, Dom? No, I'm proud of you. Oh, I thank am. you. Wow. You're getting this together, girl. Uh huh. Guys, Fitz has a bully stick, and he has been so entertained all day long. I've never seen him so happy. There you go. I'm making tea with Dom. Guys, Dom's in New York, and she's kind of not thriving in New York. Which, I told her. Dom, tell them why you don't like New York. I have a cold, and I want you guys to know that this city is not for the faint of heart, you guys. If it's, you, it's really the walking for her. It's the walking. It's the going up. Bro, so many walk-ups. Like, I hate stairs. That's really what it comes down to. I actually don't mind the walking. It's the stairs. Yeah. Fucking hate stairs. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to cuss, but I just got really overwhelmed with emotion. Oh, wait. Hey, Jess I, is calling me, so let me just call you back because I'm going to show her the Okine tags and open them. Oh, yeah. Show her. Okay. Okay, bye. Bye. Hello, Jessica. Hi. We have a very, very... I'm going to screen record this. Will you screen record, too? I would love to. I'm going to... Are you ready? Wait, let me... Oh, you haven't opened them yet? No, I was going to open it with you. So nice, okay. Of course. Okay, ready? No. This is so crazy. Oh my. Are you gonna cry? You're gonna love them. I'm gonna cry. Actually, I'm about to cry. The tag, I mean, get ready. I feel so, like, legit. I mean, it looks insane. I just can't believe those are ours. I know, it's so crazy. I mean, I believe it. wow, I'm making some chamomile tea as I'm FaceTiming all of my friends. Oh, we should have just done a, a group FaceTime with Dom. I just hung up on her to answer you, but maybe we'll- Good morning, guys. It's 7.30. I'm about to head out to Pilates. This is my Pilates outfit. Wearing my Birkenstocks. I haven't worn these in forever. They've just been sitting in my closet. So unlike me. This morning, my mirror just fell. Nothing happened, but it just fell. So... That was scary. Last night I just hung out. It was just such a cozy night at home. I finished the book always in December and like it was sweet. I took, I like took too long to read it for whatever reason. If I take more than like three days to read a book, I'm just like over it. There are parts of it that I liked. It just was like a really, it just felt really long. It's not a must, but I see why people like it. Honestly, it just like really made me sad. About to head out to Pilates. After that, I have an appointment to get a hydrofacial. I love hydrofacials. They like 
you leave and your skin is instantly glowing. It's like the craziest thing I've ever seen. So, about to head out. I'm gonna take the dogs out and then head to Pilates. <laughs> I'm out of Pilates, it was great. I'm about to go in and get a hydrofacial. I'll take you through. You guys can also use code Kenzie20 for 20% off. I'm just really hitting you guys with some codes this week. Not sponsored or paid or anything, but if you guys wanna go, this is where I get my Botox and hydrofacials, which is what I need. My skin has just been so dry. So I need to go. Also, my friend texted me to get chilies tonight, so obviously I'm having a great day. Oh my God, guys, it's so festive. is always like a little bit red but my pores just disappear like it is so wild my skin feels so much better anyways it's 10 30 i need to go home shower make breakfast and then dana's coming over we're organizing my house all day today very exciting but i just needed to get it done before the new year so it's not like on my mind as i'm traveling and it just creates so much anxiety and stress for me so gonna do it all this week and feel really good about it my kitchen already feels better we got the garage the closet in my closet room maybe my bathroom we'll see it's gonna be beautiful everybody live with a millennial and is this what happens when they do <laughs> all right guys i'm showered dana showed up with coffee this just feels like way bigger than a minty i'm telling you i really think it is like there's it really is she agrees um but we're gonna be the home at it today on netflix so it's really exciting Here's my cozy outfit for the day. I'm wearing Soma. I love Soma loungewear. It's so good in their pajamas. I have my coffee. Let me show you my order. There's no tag on here, but it's the vanilla sweet cream cold brew, but instead of vanilla, I get peppermint. This has got to go. Water damage ruined this ottoman. I have some skim stuff I need to hang up here. I've got so much. This is already like overflowing. I mean, look at how good this coat is, guys. It's just so good. You know what else I really need to do? I need to go through my workout, like fitness wear, and donate some because I have two full drawers. I have way too much stuff now, and it's just getting to be a bit much. Oh, I don't know if I even showed you guys these. I got them last week. They're black pumps my stylist sent over. Um, styled by Brittany on Instagram. And I just really needed some. These are under $100. They're really comfortable. If you're a wimp with heels, like I would definitely recommend these because they are just so comfy. They're just like a very like good shoe. I love them. And they're not too high or anything. They're just perfect, basically. I'm so tired, can you tell? Also, I'm so sore now. I'm so afraid to open this, guys. The shelves fell and I just haven't even touched it. Yeah, it's not good. So, oh, I have more Lux and Filter PR. I mean, that's really good news for me, honestly. We have some books, lots of books in here. I don't know. Honestly, I might turn this into my boot closet, which I know is so ridiculous, but I have so many pairs of boots. I like want my own cowboy boot line one day. So oh my god, I might as well just make it into this, but I have so much stuff. Alright, Dana just got everything out from the bottom of my pantry because it's just overflowing at all times and we're gonna go through it. I mean, that's like a box of stuff people brought for a pregame over there. Just so much PR, extra stuff I don't need. It's much better here now. Um, Dana just cleaned the floors. This stuff I will really go through, but I mean, honestly, it just there's too much food in here at the end of the day. So it's so much better. It's the most organized it's been in like six months, which is, you know, not saying much, but this is the before of the garage. It's pretty crazy. We're gonna give ourselves 45 minutes. Just time it. It's always my life hack that works. And we're gonna go through everything organize it, label it, got a label maker and everything. 
it's, it's a good day. Boot barn, Dom just left like half of her stuff here. Dom, I'm putting it in a suitcase. is off and look at how much better this garage looks guys it is night and day Fitz is having a great time still have a few things to take upstairs but we're done look what just arrived in the mail a nice little set active PR gift which I'm so excited for this is so cute this is the oat milk collection which is I'm pretty sure like everyone's favorite color and I just got my fave pieces in it cute little hair clip that's adorable and then a nice little scrunchie the little cyber monday kits i mean they're just so cute all right i just made some leftover chicken noodle soup i posted the reel to my instagram today so if you guys want to go check it out feel free i'm going to spend the rest of the afternoon working so i will talk to you guys later it is now 6 p.m and i'm going to chili's okay i know we're probably really shocked here here is my groundbreaking outfit for chili's got birkenstock socks who gets dinner at 6 p.m. in their 20s? Apparently me. You guys saw him. I went viral on TikTok about chilies, and that is the most me thing um, that's ever happened to me. So, I am off. I just went to Chili's. It was absolutely incredible. That just reminded me I have leftovers in the back seat. I either always leave my leftovers on the table or in my car, which is honestly worse. But I just want to say right now, and I don't mean this in the way that's like, oh my god, 2022 is going to be my year. Because, you know, we all said that about 2020. But I just have a really, like, good but also just, like, interesting feeling about 2022. Like, I feel like, I don't know. I have, I do have a really good feeling about it. I have a lot of good things coming up and I'm feeling really excited. I started, like, making a little bit of, like, a vision or action board for 2022, um, and tomorrow, just for myself, and then tomorrow, Jess and I are, um, doing that for the O-Kind, but I don't know what it is, guys, I just think it's going to be a really, really crazy year, and I'm very excited, like, I'm very, 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 very excited, so, <sighs> okay, so I'm gonna go and read, I'm currently reading Mel Robbins, um, latest book, I might get another fiction novel, I've got five books left, I'm on track, for a hundred bucks at 20. Happy Wednesday, guys. I'm ready for the day. It is noon. I got some work done. Went on a nice walk. I'm about to meet Jessica at Honor Bar. We're gonna have a little meeting and planning session for the Okine. This top is Shop Distinctive Soul. Cute little small business on Instagram. Wearing this blazer from Princess Polly. I wish it was like a little bit bigger. Jeans are Levi's. Boots are Lucchese. So Dallas today, everyone. Parking at Highland Park Village is literally the worst thing to happen to me every single day. Oh, look who it is. Hey. Still no parking. I'm going to make sure they even have valet right now. But maybe a different pink. Yeah, I don't like the color. I wish it was a different pink. Guys, we're in market. Looking around. They always have the cutest stuff. Yeah, they have really good coffee table books. Candles. This brand has a one for one one, but it's a thousand dollars. Oh, well. Big F1 girl over here. No. Look at the I love you so much art. I'm like, who is that? We have a lot in common. Look, they just got sleeper here. They always have the coolest, like, latest brands. I've never been in here. Oh, really? This is the last line. You noticed that, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that's really cute. That's why I said, can I get your okay? Yes, thank you. We are going into Love Shack Fancy. Oh, yeah, I, that just opened recently. It is just, oh my god, I haven't been at Christmas time. This is really not Jess's vibe, but I'm obsessed with it. Oh my god, it's perfect. I want a table setting, come here. We are doing stuff for the Okine vision board. 
just got my favorite salad besides sweet green salads, the kale chicken salad at Honor Bar. It is so good. I am at this restaurant, I'm not kidding, probably at least twice a week, my favorite place ever. Taking espresso shots. Oh my god. It's too hot right now. I'm not taking right now. Change my mind. I'm not doing the whole thing. I'm just I'm gonna sit. My most toxic trait, besides loving chili so much, is um trying to take espresso shots like a shot of tequila. Yeah. It's like the It's hot. It's not the cup is really hot. I'm you, you know I didn't. <sighs> You know I didn't wrap it because I don't even own wrapping paper. Wrapping How do we? Do you want me to just tell you what I got you for Christmas? Sure. I know it's gonna be a shock. I think do you I want to give like, a guess. Did you want me to do moss work? Yeah, <laughs> I did, but it's I'm not here yet, so. Okay. <laughs> shocked. If you guys saw the last vlog, you too would be shocked. shocked. I had no idea that this was on the way. <gasps> Oh do you God, like that I one though? I love it. Yeah, no, I love it. Because there's so many options, you know? No, I love it. Also, the quality is insane. No, it's. I'm not kidding. Until you have one, you can't. Like, people shit on the prices. I'm like, you literally can't until you have one. Wow. You literally can't until you have one. The in, put, stick your hand inside. Like, I'm not joking. Oh my God. Thank you. You're welcome. No, the quality is incredible. Merry Christmas. I like the cut too. It's. I don't, I don't have a crew from them. I only have hoodies. That's why wow. I felt like we should expand our shared closet. Yeah, I agree. I'm glad. I'm glad that you thought ahead. I just, you know. Do you want to wear this? It's going to be kind of hot, but. I know. Actually, I feel like I'm. I'm Jess kind of needs a crew, so she might be putting that on today. I know, I know I'm, not, I'm not, actually. Because um, I'm, I am kind of hot now. We're doing a little luxury shopping today, potentially. I want a new bag and I want new shoes. And I really never shop for myself. Well, I do shop for myself. I don't buy like really expensive things though. Yeah, I can't say the same for myself, but so I'm trying to withhold. It's my once a year thing. Kenzie's tempting me. Like I'm supposed to be saving. I'm supposed to be saving. We're starting a business. We're spending a lot of money. We're supposed to be saving. Yep. She's like, let me go buy Prada loafers. I just need them. And also with the stuff I that we're just coming out with. <laughs> no, but I think about wearing them every day and the stuff that we're coming out with, like I'll wear them with that. Yeah, to be fair, I do have a you black know? pair of loafers already. Yeah, see, you don't and like, I don't have a pair of loafers. You guys, I bought black loafers at the, who remembers LF? At the LF sale when I was a sophomore in high school. The most amazing black loafers that are, do you want hand sanitizer, by the way? Yeah. Um, that were originally like $900. Ridiculous. I bought them for $85 at that ridiculous LF sale where they're like basically giving shit away for free. Oh my god, and I've had them forever. They're so beautiful. I don't even know what brand they are. We used to have an LF here. Oh my god, I hate this one hands sanitizer. Oh, I love it. Are you like a it's, serious? No, no, no. Color? It feels like it's just. It makes me feel like oh, I smell clean. Like I feel like so, it makes me clean, smell like it makes me think of like elementary school classrooms. Oh, it makes me think of the doctor's office. <laughs> that is not a good memory for me <laughs> either. It makes me feel like all clean. No, I, when I think of clean, I think of like my like like, like way bath stuff. Oh, okay. Well, excuse me. Not that. Oh, I can't believe that you like comment below. Do you guys like cans <laughs> <laughs> That's like, like people who like to smell sharpies. I don't like Are you one of those? No, 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 no. Oh my god. I like need to get out of this car with this serial killer. Here we are. Off to the real real. Knox Henderson across from the Restoration Hardware. I love that one. That's really cute. It's really hefty. Oh my god. They should, I'm like, I no, cannot it's do it. Really nice, actually. Like, those are cute. This stuff is, yeah, that is cute. Oh my god. All the, it's so cute. Also, at what age do I like this? All right, guys. We're at North Park now. I need to try on shoes. I've been thinking about it for a long time. Don't worry. Good. Good. Oh, Jess wanted to be in camera. So Such festive. I know. She loves the camera now. Oh, great. I love this bag. This is why I need black because this is what I want when I need a black bag every day. I also like this one though. Smaller. Yeah, that's really cute. I like that a lot. So let's see. It's beautiful. And then there's a strap too. Yeah, pull it out. I like that it's black, and I'm normally like iffy on black hardware. Oh really? It depends. I either love it or I don't like it. It's rare that I don't like it to be honest, but yeah. Let's just see. Oh, it's just it's everything. It actually is. Take it a is step. Really cute. Let's see. Does my phone fit? Put it in. That would be the only reason why I wouldn't get something that small. Oh, it fits. It's gonna be the only thing that needs to fit. It's it's so it nice, Ken. So Okay, I love this one. Like, I'm gonna flip this so you can see yourself. Wait, 
I think it's a sign from God. That's so discounted. Wait, how much? What's the original price? 2000 That's on sale for 13 <gasps> I mean, I wanted a pink one. Listen, I think it's a sign from Didn't God. Didn't I just say I wanted a black bag? And I'm coming here with... Yeah, but sometimes you have to listen. That's a really good deal. Wait. Other side. Let me see. Oh my gosh. It's they, just everything. I don't know, but like... It's the last one. That's why. It's stunning. I mean... And this one is 23. 23? Okay. So literally a thousand dollars less. It's so it nice, pink, right? Yeah. And that's the last one you guys have, you said, right? It's, I, I mean, I, I think you have to. Okay, that literally is almost 50% off of that bag right now. And I wanted a pink, I literally said I want a black one because I need an everyday black bag, but I need a pink one because I just have wanted a pink bag for so long, and pink is my color. And that is so cheap. This is where I got this bag from. Really? Yeah. Um, I never do this, guys. I promise. I normally do consignment in second hand. I really don't. I want to see all the options for it. I mean, these are the only ones I have, but I do need loafers. Perfect. Thank you so much. Yeah, Merry Christmas to me. Have a good one. Wow, guys, it was actually, when we checked out, that was an impulse buy. I was Less just saying, $1. no, I was literally just saying my impulse buys are always the most worn, and it was $300 cheaper than they told us. Like, it was under $1,000, which is obviously still a lot of money, but for a Balenciaga bag, that's like, insane. Again, I don't normally spend this much money. Okay, we're on the hunt, which is so crazy that these are even hard to find right now because I'm, like, so light to the game with the loafers. I want the ones with a thicker sole. All right, I'm trying on. I don't like this like cut of jeans. I'm just trying it on for their size. They are so comfortable though. Like, oh my god, so comfortable. All right, I actually love these jeans as like baggy jeans to wear with heels. I feel like I should go down a size, but like wearing these with heels, I love them. They're just fun. They're not for everyone, but I love them. They're also very comfortable. Motherland. Off to Aritzia we go. I got a few accessories from Urban. They have great scarves and beanies, but here we are. This is really where it all started, truly. Just a few basics on Aritzia. I needed this like good black tank that's sleeveless and cool. These great gray sweats. Love. All right, we just met Elena at Aritzia. She She's moved so here. Nice. She was so nice, had great skin. She <laughs> moved here. Last October, or in October, so recently, she made four of her best friends here on the Geneva app, and they met at Skellig, which is very fitting, and then they had Friendsgiving. a Friendsgiving, they're having White Elephant this weekend, I mean, how cute, you guys have to join the Geneva app, then she said her friend lives in Nashville, and that she's going to join the Nashville room, and then make her friends there, I'm telling you guys, this is the new wave, join my Geneva room, mine specifically, it's the best one, I promise you. This is my biggest shopping day I've done in a long time. Okay, I... Okay, I, I like the gold detailing. <gasps> That's what I need, that gold detailing. All right, guys, we are back. I'm gonna do a little haul. We're actually about to go watch the Mavs play the Lakers at Christie's, I think. So Jess is about to pick me up again, but I'm gonna give you guys a little bit of a haul. So I got some accessories from Urban. One of my favorite scarves this season is from there. So I picked up another one. This is actually a lot more orange. Thought it was more brown. It looks kind of... I don't know, is it orange or brown? I came home to my house like so messed up. The dog's just, you know, it's okay. Um, I got a black beanie and then I got a brown beanie. Just things that I needed. Picked up some basics at Aritzia. I got another pair of the TNA cozy sweats. I go between a small and a medium. They are just the softest sweats you'll literally ever wear. Um, and I love them. They last forever. They are the best quality and they're not like crazy pricey Then I got just this black top because I needed like a good Black top again. You can't see that I changed clearly and then this top I would have gotten it in more colors But they didn't have any more of my size Just has these cool little like shoulder pads. I thought this would be cute Just something easy to throw on obviously for Christmas just got me a local optimist Bad Happy Crew, which I understand the hype now after wearing one. Not wearing one, just feeling one. It is unreal, I will say. I got good American jeans, which I will say, like, when I was looking at them, everyone's told me, like, you have to try them on, and then you'll understand the hype. And I grabbed a few, I tried them on, and it was a magical experience. Like, I have never 
worn a comfier pair of jeans i got these in a size six which honestly i could have potentially gone down um we'll see these just like don't even look that great until you put them on and they're just like the perfect like they hit you perfectly they're like the baggy oversized jeans but they still fit like these with heels and a sweater oh my god everything i could ever want and then i got a pair guys you guys are gonna banish me from being gen z Hear me out, I have so many boots and so many over the knee boots, I needed skinny jeans. I'm gonna be honest, I haven't bought a pair of skinny jeans in probably like six, seven years. Has it really been that long? Yeah, I feel like when I moved to LA it was right around when I stopped wearing skinny jeans, right? Anyways, they are so flattering, like they make your butt look insane because of this cut, but I will link them both below. These are the good legs crop. Um, I just love, I just needed them to wear my boots or else. You know what was the girl gonna do? Sorry guys. Also, every time I wear my breadwinning housewife tote, I get so many compliments and then I get so awkward because I like don't wanna explain that as my merch because it's like weird to say that when you meet someone, you know what I mean? Um, so I just cut my mouth shut. Then, for the real banger of this haul, I know that this is still so expensive. Obviously, I work very hard for my money, and I don't go out and buy, especially full-price designer bags, like, all the time. I originally was looking for a good black everyday bag, because all I have is that other Balenciaga that I got discounted. And I was looking for a good black one. And I did, and it's so crazy, because before I was saying, like, it's always my impulse, like, bright bags that I buy that I get the most compliments out of and get the most wear out of. And I was like, I really want a Balenciaga bag in pink, because I love their pink bags. And then we saw this, and not only did we see this, but it was literally, at first they were like, it was originally two grand and it was on sale for 1300. And then I was like, done, amazing. Go to checkout, 992, 1100 with tax, which obviously is still so expensive. Like I, I understand that, but for a Balenciaga bag or a designer bag in general, like that is actually insane. Um, but it's like the most perfect, cute bag. Like look at this. So I went to the store to get a black bag and this is what I got, but I'm not kidding guys. Like, hello. Have you ever seen anything so perfect? Like, <laughs> I just love it so much. So, here we go, Merry Christmas to me. It's so cute, I love it. It also like fits so much. And honestly, shockingly, like really bright bags end up being a neutral to me. Like somehow this ends up matching everything and I, I can't really explain it to you. Especially in the spring and summer, I will get so much wear out of this bag. I mean, it's like literally perfect. Dom will be so proud of me, so. Seven, I need to shower. Threw my hair up. I am tired. I'm actually reading Mel Robbins' latest book. My dad was telling me to read it. My dad is like where I get all of my like, I'm so into personal development because my dad's so into it. Um, so, I started reading that and it's actually very good. I don't know why I said actually as if it's like surprising, but. So I wanna finish that tonight, potentially. I have so many books right now that I wanna read. If you guys ever need book racks, by the way, I make TikToks and reels of them all the time. So I think I'm gonna wear this blue set active set in the morning. And then I have like a matching long sleeve and my Birkenstocks, like that's cute for Pilates, so. I canceled my Pilates class this morning actually because I was so tired and I just went on a long walk. Also, I'm so sorry, I will say like, oh my gosh, it's crazy how like the first few, I just like, oh my God, even sitting down trying on shoes and stuff today was too much. I also did buy the Prada loafers today. I actually did order the Prada loafers, so that'll be coming in soon. Something I've really been wanting to do is to just like style a bunch of outfits and then put them on that rack so they're ready. The issue lately has been that the weather's been changing. Like this, I swear, is the warmest December we've ever had. It was like 70 degrees today, and I'm used to being like so cold and bundled up. Um, I think it's gonna be like almost 70 on Christmas, which is gross. This weekend it's colder, it's at like 50s. It's in the 50s, but like still. Yeah, okay, so it's 50, 49. Next week it's colder, and then it gets back to like high of 70. High, the low is 55, the high is 71 on Christmas. I am not into that. Also, I will say I'm normally like dreading the holiday season being over, and it's the last thing I want to happen, but I'm just so excited for next year that I'm not dreading it, which is really refreshing. And also I'm going on a New Year's Eve trip. So I feel like Christmas is lasting like another week, even more than it normally would because we'll be in New York and it's like so festive there.
Good morning, I'm about to go to Pilates. I just threw on a set active set. For whatever reason, I asked for like all these cuts of sports bras. I should have asked for a different one. I love the matching long sleeve, it's so cozy. So I'm about to make some coffee and head out. Walking into Pilates with my new pink purse. I'm like bubblegum right now. It's so beautiful. Also, by the way guys, this bag, it is a perfect size. It fits my camera, it fits everything. I could even throw a disposable, my phone. I mean, I am in love with this bag. Oh my god. Today is a lot of computer work. I have therapy at one. I have, oh, that's in like an hour. A meeting at four. I want to make chili in, that's in the slow cooker today, so I need to start on that now. I need to make coffee. <laughs> I started on my chili. I've got some ground beef, ground pork, onions, garlic, peppers. I'm gonna brown all of these and then I'm just going to slow cook with the beans and the gelato sauce and the tomatoes for the rest of the day. The longer you let this sit, the better it is. So, so many things this week. Cooking just brings me so much inner peace. Like, I just feel so calm. I have the TV on, I always listen to a podcast. It's really beautiful outside. The leaves have changed colors. I mean, I just love it. All right, so now I'm gonna add the beans, the tomatoes, the enchilada sauce, and just go on from there. And then I let it sit for literally eight hours. It makes your house smell so good. A crock pot, guys, if you don't have one, I know that I sound like your grandmother, but it is a must have. I wanna create a currency for brands that my audience not only likes me for my personality, but they like me for branding and marketing content. And if I have that currency to go to brands and say, look, I have X amount of followers, but not only do I have that much, but like they like and are interested in lifting up the curtain, which I don't think a lot of people are doing. I think that'd be extremely smart and kind of like a new avenue that not a lot of people are doing. 